Three Men and Another Baby is the 22nd episode of the third season of Full House. This is directed by Bill Foster. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I talk about what happens in this episode. I don't actually have that many notes for this one, but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. I absolutely did. So I will go through things chronologically, mostly. I will discuss two of the subplots very briefly, but then I'll talk about the main narrative as it unfolds in sequence. It starts off with Michelle calling out because there's a monster in her closet. And I've seen this episode before, but I couldn't remember what happened. Genuinely think this was very predictable because she tells Joey and Danny there's a monster in the closet and she makes them go and check to prove it. And they do check and out pops DJ with a monster mask on. Love it. Definitely had a lot of fun with that. We then have three parts of the narrative and two of the subplots involve... Becky cooking, it's very, very brief, but I didn't mind it. It was a nice way to have Becky in the house. And we have Joey trying to do DJ's maths homework or help her with the maths homework, which I thought was quite fun. He went to some pretty extreme lengths to try and resolve it. And ultimately what happened is that DJ ended up using a homework hotline, which I'd never heard of before. I had no idea that was a thing. I don't know if they were a thing when I was younger, but that seems like a pretty cool resource. The rest of the narrative focuses on Michelle and a baby called Tony. Tony is coming over to spend the night and he's actually a, a baby from the neighbourhood and they're babysitting him. Danny is actually the one babysitting him, but he's taking Comet to obedience class during the day. So it's actually Jesse who's mostly looking after the baby. And the baby also doesn't cry when Jesse is holding him, whereas with other people, Tony does cry. So it's rather sweet. And Jesse plays flying babies with him, which we saw him do a lot with Michelle, particularly in the earlier seasons. And he puts Tony in Michelle's crib. And Michelle is is quite hurt by this because she's seeing Jesse do the things that he used to do with her and maybe still does to some extent. And she says at one point, Uncle Jesse doesn't like me anymore. And it's it's heartbreaking. And I think this addresses a really important topic that if you have a new baby, or indeed if you're babysitting somebody else's baby, but you have another young child, they might not fully comprehend the situation. They might not realize that you have enough love for both of them or that they're just there for one night, whatever the situation might be. And we see this in the episode unfolding as Michelle takes pretty drastic action. She tells Tony he has to go home and then she climbs into the crib when Tony isn't in it and sucks her thumb and says goo goo gaga and whinges and pretends to be a baby. And Jesse is not really aware of why Michelle is doing this. Becky is. Becky is a lot more in tune. But I, I think it's definitely providing a good indication that some people might not be aware of how a new baby or a, a baby they're babysitting could affect another child. And I think it's given quite a, a few different perspectives here. Becky suggests the reward approach. And I will say I don't like the way this went because Jesse goes to DJ and Stephanie for advice. And they both suggest offering Michelle the pillow person and Mr. Bear. And whichever one Michelle picks she can get. But I feel like giving Michelle somebody else's possessions is not the way to stop her from being a baby. So I didn't really like that, but I did like the way it went ultimately because Michelle chooses the bear. She's still behaving like a little baby and Danny suggests talking to her using words that she understands and using big girl words. And Jesse does talk to her like a big girl rather than just treating her kind of like a baby. He wasn't really communicating with her properly, but he sat down with her and asked her, well, what's the matter? And she was able to use her words and explain how she felt. And it's a really beautiful moment. And it's very well done. The performances are, are so sweet. And I absolutely adored it. And Michelle then actually gives Mr. Bear back to Stephanie. So I'm, I'm glad that that's what happened. Because I don't think giving Michelle somebody else's prized possessions was the way to resolve this problem. But ultimately, of course, what really worked was actually talking with her and trying to get her to communicate her feelings rather than acting them out as if she were a baby. I think it's a sweet episode. I love Michelle. I love all of the characters. But being a big Mary Kate and Ashley fan, obviously anything that focuses quite heavily on Michelle is something that I'm going to enjoy. And this is certainly no exception. I think Three Men and Another Baby. Great title, by the way. Really, really love the title for this one. And I think it's a great episode. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think Stephanie had like three, four lines in this. That might be an underestimate, but she didn't have a lot to say, unfortunately. But we did get a lot from Michelle.
And I think Three Men and Another Baby is a pretty brilliant episode.